Thank you. Well, that was, that was good. That was really good to have Kerry and his executive uh, leadership team speak to the strategy and program priorities with regard to the challenges that you face around fleets, around funds, around resources, and of course the story that UFBA and fire and emergency are telling together right now. Thank you for posing all of the important questions that you asked, which highlighted the issues that matter and what support you are looking for. They are difficult conversations, but they are so important to have. It's how we make change. Lance would be proud of us all. Uh, soon we have our last keynote uh, speaker of the day with Melissa Clark Reynolds, but first, Monique Bradley's back with our last activation. Welcome, Monique. Round of applause, everyone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mariama. All right. Well, I know that some of you might need a quick pit stop, but I can tell you we have one more really amazing speaker who I know you'll love. In the meantime, I feel like we need to energise a little bit. That's what I'm here to do. Now, one of the things that I want you to take home is this really easy activity to re-engage your brigade, especially if you've got a long meeting and you need to reactivate the energy. So I'll just put this down on here while we move these chairs. I want you to take your two hands like this. And at the same time, you're going to go like that. And as you do, you're going to inhale. And let it go. Try it one more time. Let it go. Try it one more time. Let it go. Now, in theatre, we actually call that an energy fountain. And it's a really easy way to energise yourself. So if you're feeling a little bit tired or brain fatigued, you know what to do. Try it with me one more time. Oh, let it go. Fantastic. That's a great technique. Another great technique, which I mentioned earlier in the day, is actually the power of gratitude. This is a really great way to connect. So what I want you to do is take a moment right now to turn to the person next to you and pay them a compliment. Go, try it. Get creative. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh. Well done, well done. It works like a charm. So if you ever find that you've got an audience who is getting a little tired, get them to do an energy fountain and pay a compliment and you'll be away laughing. Now the final thing I need you to do before we get into your final speaker of the day is have you got your phone with you? Grab your phone out right now and you know what to do. Open up the camera app on your phone. First of all, I'm going to do it and I'm going to sneak for social media a selfie. Everybody smile and wave. Kia ora. Perfect, excellent. That's going on LinkedIn. Fantastic. What I want you to do is you know what to do. Aim your camera up at the QR code up there. I'm ooh, looking at myself. I'm gonna do it too. You know what to do now. If you get stuck, remember you've just made a friend with the person next door to you. You paid them a compliment. If you're stuck, get them to help. All the UFBA team are here. Show up that QR code. And if you're on the live stream as well, you can still join in. Click the QR code and it should open up to our Slido quiz here. Right, have you all opened up to Slido? Yes, fantastic. And we should have a couple more questions. You see, the UFBA really want to understand who you are so they can serve you better. So I believe our first question is there, is this your first UFBA conference? Yes or no? So add in your details and then press send. And then let's check out the details. Wow, look at that. An overwhelming response of newcomers. Welcome to you. Give all the newcomers a big clap. Fantastic. And a little cheer. Okay, let's move into question number two, which will show up in your app now. What year was the UFBA founded? Was it 1925, 1850, 1878? or 2020. So add in your details now, and then press send. And let's see if you know the right answer. 
the correct answer is 1878. Who got that one right? Pop your hand up. I'd love to see. Well done. Well done. And it, um, it's great to know that the UFBA was founded on the 17th of December in Christchurch by nine brigades. So if you are from Christchurch, Dunedin, Kaiapoi, Littleton, Mornington, Port Chalmers, Rangiora, Timaru or Waimati, put your hands up. Only two of you. There's only two. <laughs> well, you are representing. Thank you so much. Now let's move to our next question here. This is question number three. This is a very important question, ladies and gentlemen. Who invented the pavlova? Was it Australia or New Zealand? Put in your details. Then we have definitive proof. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Do we really want to see who that 7% is? <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to photograph that as well. And I'm going to use that in a keynote to show that we have actual data to prove definitively that the pavlova was created here in New Zealand. Isn't that fantastic, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, can't argue with the data. Well, it is time for me to head off stage because you have an amazing keynote speaker underway. Remember, before I head away, grab your hands. Energy fountain, breathe it in and let it go. All right, well, we'll see you again soon. Back to Miriam. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs>